I've really been wanting to jump into 3D printing with my son, but a few things have been holding me back. First of all, 3D printing has always just seemed overly complicated. I'm not a 3D designer. Um, and it just seems really difficult. The second thing was just how time consuming that 3D printing can be. So I was pretty excited when Anchor Make reached out to me to take a look at their Anchor Make M5. The M5 increases the speed from 250 millimeters per second to the maximum speed of 500 millimeters per second, while general 3D printers only print at 50 millimeters per second. And with features like the built-in AI camera for monitoring and error detection, plus the ability to connect this to the app on your phone, this is less intimidating and I'm really interested to see how a first timer like myself can operate this Anchor Make M5 3D printer. In this video, I'm gonna be using the Anchor Make M5 to kind of overhaul my desk setup. We're gonna be printing a phone holder. Big shout outs to Anchor Make for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already got everything unboxed here, so we'll see what all it came with. Got a quick start guide. It came with a set of tools, and I'm brand new to 3D printing, so I don't even really know what all of this is for quite yet, uh, but it does have all of the tools I'm assuming all the tools that you'll need to assemble this and also use this. It does come with a roll of filament, so you'll be able to use this immediately. Here's the filament holder, your power cord, all the various screws you'll need for assembly. Here's the base. This is the gantry frame. I guess this is, would be called the extruder here in the middle. Or on the right side, you have your LCD touchscreen and the AI camera is right there facing your prints. Setup is supposed to be a very easy three-step process, so we're gonna cover that quickly. First up, we're just gonna remove this back tab. Next, we're gonna pass our wiring harness through uh, these little holes in the base. And then we'll pass the bottom of the gantry through as well. All right, next up, we just need to connect the bottom of the frame to the base with these little M5 screws. We'll repeat the process over here on the right side of the frame. Next up, we need to connect the USB cables. We can use the wire harnesses here to keep everything nice and tidy. Next, we'll connect the motors. Anchormate did a pretty good job of securing all of the motor wires out of the box, so I didn't have to really worry about any of that. Make sure everything is good and connected and then just replace your cover. Next up, we'll just be installing the filament holder. You can install this vertically or horizontally. You can even install it on the bottom of the machine. I'm just going to install it up high and a horizontal for now, but I can always make the adjustment and change it up later if I need to. Next up, we'll go ahead and set this up on the Anchor Make app. So you'll grab that from the Play Store or the Apple Store. Go ahead and register your account and sign in and then click on Add Printer. It's already found the printer, so we'll click on that. It's given me a pin on the screen there, so we'll go ahead and put in the verification pin number. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and connect this to Wi-Fi. They do recommend that you clean the plate with alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol before starting and then periodically. So we'll do that first. This does include an auto leveling feature. So it only takes about 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and auto level this now. It appears that it starts out by heating up the surface. Now it's aligning the different axes on the plate. Now it is in a 49 step process for leveling with a countdown there. So it shows that we've got about seven minutes left of the process. Next up, we'll load our filaments. So we do need to cut the end here at an angle and then we'll just feed this in until we feel some resistance. Uh, if you have a tough time, you can spin it and then that will allow it to go on through. It's gonna make its way all the way through this tube here. Okay, when you feel a little resistance, press the button and then just continue to push it until you kinda, you can't push anymore. On the screen, just press Control, Extrude, and just press Extrude. And now you're ready to begin your print. And now for the exciting part. This is going to be my first ever 3D print 
And this is super simple. We're just gonna go to explore. For our first print, we're going to print the 3D Benchy quick mode testing with the M5s upgraded to fast mode 500 millimeters per second maximum speed you can print Benchy in just 17 minutes. The community actually has a boat printing race. Some users in the case of unmodified machines can complete the printing in eight minutes and 44 seconds. In the unmodified i3 structure printers, the results rank second in the world. So this actually sent the file from my phone straight over to the printer, and now it has begun the process of printing. So it really couldn't get much easier than that. All right, so here is the first print. I'd say this came out really nicely. It only took 17 minutes, which is kind of crazy how fast it was able to get this printed up. After having used the Anchor Make M5, there are several things that really stand out about this 3D printer. So the first thing is just how easy it is to use. So like I said before, I've never used a 3D printer and I was able to unpack this. It came halfway assembled. I was able to get it assembled and it completely set up within about 15 minutes. The auto leveling paired with the error detection notifications powered by the AI camera really made this foolproof. Other user-friendly features include a PEI soft magnetic steel plate, auto resume after power outage, the 4.3 inch touch screen, and the ability to remotely control and monitor the progression of your print through the Anchor Make app. Right in the application, there are plenty of models that require zero slicing, zero customization. It's also super easy to load your own files into the 3D printer. You can either use a USB thumb drive and just grab them from there, or you can use the Windows or Apple version of the Slicer application. This allows you to grab any model off of your PC and then even make your own customizations. You can easily change the speed, layer height, and infill, and there's even an easy mode for beginners like me, which was perfect. If you jump into the expert mode in the Slicer app, there are so many more customizations that you can go in and tweak. And as I learn how to use this a little bit better, I'm sure I'll be diving into all those extra settings. Another thing that really stood out here was the AI camera, which allowed for error detections and notifications. This really helps to save time and it saves filament when errors such as failure to stick to the bed or even spaghetti noodling are detected this will auto pause and then you can come and check your print and make any adjustments that you need to to save the print the error detection technology is also pretty interesting as the m5 prints every layer it also takes photos and compares and calculates it locally with the simulated perspective images generated by slicing that way it can assess the actual status of the print. With the AI camera, you're also able to record time lapses. So if you want to watch back the entire print, or if you want to share those time lapses on social media or with friends, you're able to do that with that included AI camera. I do think it's interesting that this uses an adaptive light sensing algorithm so you can still capture time lapses even in the dark. By far the number one feature of the Anchor Make M5 has to be this increased printing speed. This does have a max print speed of 500 millimeters per second, but it also has a max acceleration of 5,000 millimeters per second. The PowerBoost 2.0 is an upgraded motion control system with a powerful stepper motor, double belt drive shaft, and an S smoothing algorithm, which gradually increases the printing speed and acceleration of the M5 while maintaining good quality on your prints. The S smoothing algorithm reduces inertia and jerking and suppresses vibrations during high speed printing. With the new algorithm, the pulse frequency of the stepper motor is adjusted in real time based on motion planning to increase power release by 30% compared to PowerBoost 1.0. The 3D Benchy would take 44 minutes at 250 millimeters per second, but with the Anchor Make M5, it's able to achieve that in 17 minutes and 43 seconds at 500 millimeters per second, which is a huge reduction in time. And this is still pretty good quality even at that speed. The touchscreen makes it very easy to operate this directly from the unit itself. So you can do things like preheat. If you go to the control, you actually have the ability to move the platform and the extruder. You can easily auto level. Uh, there are some different settings for the extruder here as well. You have the ability to 
unlock and lock the motors. You can start your prints right from the machine, either through local or your USB thumb drives. If you have your USB thumb drive inserted, you can also find and print any files that you have already on your drive. All right, so there is a file. And if I wanted to print that, I just hit the print button and it will begin to print. If you're looking for a faster machine for 3D printing, this could definitely be a great option. If you're someone like me who has a very limited experience with 3D printers, this is user-friendly and very easy to use. So it's definitely great for a beginner like myself. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can find out more information about the Anchor Make M5 and where to purchase one for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.